Welcome back, beautiful beings. We're gonna finish our autumn laser cut words. Okay, and I got them pretty much all dolled up and ready to go. So we're just gonna start gluing. Oops, that was a little bit too much glue. Hope everyone is well. And hope everyone is not frustrated. <laughs> Just putting that out there. And I don't even remember how I even had that. Ink this up. Just remember, you get what you think about, whether you want it or not. So think about what you want, not what you don't want. That's a saying I've been telling myself for years now. And it's pretty true. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep the shape so you can see the shape too. And I think I had this one over here, like so. To go in the middle of the word, and then this one. Just keeping it, just keeping it simple, beautiful beings. This glue would work with me. I'm getting way too much. I was thinking about putting them down with Mod Podge, only because the die cuts are so thin and some are fragile, even though they're on nice thick cardstock. So I th I'm thinking I'm just gonna do the backs, like underneath when they're dry, because they will be on the front of a journal. That way, it will keep them from ripping in case it gets hit. They get hit somehow the wrong way. I might just put it on the front too. I might, I might. Pretty much see the word still, so that's good. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Autumn. Then I wanted this, I think, over here, and then that's gonna have to go on top because I can't glue that underneath. So, or uh, I can't glue this on top of this because it's too bulky, way too bulky. Wrap that around it. I'm gonna put that there like that. Probably should move it down a little bit since the tip of the L. And I'm putting a good chunk of glue on the little berries. There. And voila! This has a black tint to it for some reason. I tried to cover it up. I might do it again several times, but I think it's from this stuff on the sides. Coming up, I did a video on that. Put Mod Podge down before you do these on the sides because this black stuff starts coming up. Okay, so I'll probably take Mod Podge and just put it like right there on that. And that and that piece just so nothing happens it'll help thicken them of course I moved my berry of course I moved my berry and my glue whoa <laughs> so we're just gonna go in there and dab that glue out of there and I probably should glue it again 
I should have waited, but I didn't want to forget to tell you that's what I was doing. There. Set this aside and bring in Welcome Fall. And the last leaf. I'm putting these dark leaves on here because when I made these, I've seen that video in a dark. So we're going to be putting one here. Not too shabby. Let me just throw a piece of corn in there. I wouldn't have known what I was gonna put it on anyway, so now I feel like I need something there to cover that. I really don't I got another leaf. Put a leaf there. That one doesn't seem to be cut out very good. Right there. All right, how does that look, beautiful beings? That piece is curling up. Not too shabby. I probably should have went in and cut in there on that one, but it's all right. It just looks like a different leaf. Okay. There you go. Probably you could see it better if I do it this way. Welcome fall. All right, now we're going to move on. If I can pick it up, give thanks. Bright yellow, love it. And you can still see the K. Okay. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. I think they're cute. We got one more to go. One more to go. There's those. And I'll be right back. Okay, beautiful beings, I decided to make some coffee, so if you hear that in the background, that's what that noise is. Look at this, isn't this awesome? I cut all these out. It was a little bit tedious. I had to be very careful on some of them. But, and I'm going to go over this with Mod Podge on the back of it. Because this paper is so fragile and I had to wait for it to dry. Just moving that over so you can see the M right there going down. Isn't that cute? Oh, I can't put it down. I gotta put paint on that now. I 
I come back, I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to figure out which way I had it. But I think that'll look cool. Okay, beautiful beings. <clears throat> I wanted to show you. I went over the white. I did not touch. I'm going to hold that down. I did not touch the ones that had the markers on it because it would it's going to bleed out. So that's why I'm just doing this part first, okay? Then when this is dry, where I know I can just wipe it off the Mod Podge, I'm just gonna still be careful just to get it on the vegetables, okay? And I did the leaves because those had no markers. Those were just die cuts I made, okay? And then I'll do the back of this one and that one and that one, and probably this one and that one, okay? but I'm gonna have to mod bodge all of these. So I might as well get that done. So when I do come back, they're gonna be all mod bodged up, but I'm gonna have to watch the ones with the ink because it will bleed, okay? And then I'll be end up going across it, bringing that marker with me wherever I touch, okay? Okay, beautiful beings. I got the three done. Now I'm working on this one. I just want to you want to see and then sometimes you get a little fur on there too yeah I definitely right as soon as the, the paint dries I would definitely do them up with Modge Bodge but I want to tell you also I'm using Modge Bodge Maddie I'm not using gloss okay because I don't want them all shiny I just want them sealed okay Okay, I wanted to show you when you do the back. I'm not being sparingly. Okay, I'm putting a lot on there. Make sure you don't get the front though, because it'll bleed. This is the one with the marker. But I'm being very, very sparingly, because I want those to be nice and stiff. Okay? I put a lot down on them. It kind of went like this. See that? That's how much. That Trunk guy. Yeah. Then I'll set this like this. This how I'll let this dry. That way I know then that way I know the Maj Baj isn't touching anything and it won't stick to it. Okay? So that's how they will be drying. Okay, beautiful beings. They're all dry. They're all modge bodge, a little stiffer, so they're not so fragile on the ends. There's a close up of this one. I'll put my hand under there so you can see it. turned out very cute and I think I should have got a journal to put them on to show you I did these individually just by themselves and it was the marker was bleeding so as you can see right there yet yeah, I had to be very careful not to get it on the paint We're gonna have to get some photo albums here. So we can put them on there. I have material. Yeah. Okay, here's a fabric I haven't used yet. I have to make a photo album cover for this fabric. So I'm just gonna put these here as an example. Some might not fit into it and some might. I think the white would very well. See so that one does, I think, the best. The red one might too. Okay. On my to-do list, make two more 
two more Thanksgiving little covers. That one looked nice on there. So would that one. That might be a little bit too much orange. I mean, it looks nice, but it's too much orange for me. And of course, the white one would look good on there. Oh, we didn't finish the white one, did we? <laughs> all right, let's finish the white one. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I was hurrying to get this uploaded onto the YouTubes. Where's my glue and where's my thing? What am I doing? I can't have this stuff in my way. I'm doing this. Here, let's put this on so, so I don't get glowing. Nice, fresh white piece of paper. All right, is this the piece I had cut up? I thought I had a piece cut out specifically. Pretty sure I did. Of course it's gone now. I just wanted to put this on here because I think it give it more texture. So I'm gonna flip this over like this. Maybe I have this one. Maybe I should go this way. Yeah. That looks better. But I want a little bit to glue. I know I had a piece cut out. <laughs> Get over it, Denise. You're not gonna find it. You're not gonna turn them off. Let's go look for it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry. Ay, 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 ay. Put some glue there and some glue here. And yes, I'm gonna be generous with it. And then we're just gonna fold that over like that. And let it dry and I am gonna set something on it so I don't have to sit here and hold it I'm gonna do the same this side and I don't know what I'm gonna sit on this hmm oh I got the marker thing it's this marker thing all right and then when it's dry I'll be back Hey, beautiful beings. We have Give Thanks, we have Welcome Fall, we have Hello Autumn, and we have Farm Fresh. And I'll give you a close up of the Farm Fresh. And I believe that's, it's either onion. I bet you it's either, it's either, yeah, it's onion, because I think the garlic is more, the material's closer and closer together. There you go. All the different vegetables with it. You know, you can even make a pocket out of these. You can glue them to something, make a design of a pocket, put a pattern in the back, but one that won't wash out the colors that you paint them, and then glue it on there and make a pocket. You can make a magnet, you can stick something, it on something, a design you make, and make a magnet out of it, and then just cut around the words, you know? You don't have to go in and out, just cut like a shape around the words. That's close to the shape. And make a magnet. You kind of do all kinds of things with it, I think. With them. And give them this little fall presents. <laughs> yeah, now I'm getting ideas about that. Okay. I gotta post this video. Have a wonderful everything.